Devil May Cry 3 is an action-adventure game in which you're cutting up and shooting up the forces of hell pretty much from start to finish. As in the previous games, you play as Dante, a half-demon who's kind of this brash show-off, but he's definitely got the skills to back up the attitude. The game's actually got a pretty good story and some amazing-looking cutscenes, but it's mostly just focused on Dante going after his twin brother when a huge tower of evil springs up in the ground, practically right in Dante's backyard. Devil May Cry 3 isn't just a hard game, it's an insanely hard game. It took me two days of playing just to get past the second level, so I'm talking about like 15 minutes worth of gameplay over the course of two nights. It's hard to wrap your head around all the controls and to realize that, above all, this is a game about getting out of the way before bad guys hit you. That's all easier said than done, though, and at first the camera and the controls gave me a lot of trouble. But eventually everything clicked. I got it. Suddenly the game turns into one big, crazy, freeform combo. You can change weapons in mid-combo and attack foes on the ground and in the air and pretty much anywhere and just keep wailing away at all of them until no one's left standing. So there's a huge learning curve to get past, but it was really satisfying to get to the other side. You can read my review for all the other gory details about that. The game's boss fights are definitely one of the highlights. There are lots of different bosses and these guys pretty much epitomize the experience. They're very cool and come in all shapes and sizes, but at the same time, most of them are extremely difficult to beat and won't hesitate to quickly punish you and leave you starting over from the beginning of the level if you die. But again, it's really rewarding to finally beat them, especially since Devil May Cry 3's got some really amazing looking cutscenes in it. This game is just needlessly difficult at first, but for the most part it actually gets easier the farther in you get. That's because you'll be learning the ropes even as you're picking up new weapons and gaining new abilities and finding useful items. My advice is, be sure to stick with the default trickster style for Dante, which makes avoiding damage a lot easier than usual. And as soon as you unlock the easy difficulty by dying a few times, start over on easy. Trust me, it might be called easy, but it's not. The first couple of nights playing Devil May Cry 3 represent some of the most frustrating time I've spent getting my ass handed to me by a game in years. Frankly, were it not for having to review the game, I would have given up. I normally like tough games, but if a game's first boss is harder than most games' last boss, I know I'm in trouble. The good news is, I stuck with it, figured out how to play properly, and ended up having a great time. So yeah, now I feel like I'm in some sort of special I Finish Devil May Cry 3 club, and it's rare that games make me feel special for finishing them anymore. In short, if you think you're up to the challenge, then I highly recommend checking this game out.